I've got a great new listing for you here today. We are in one of the most desirable neighborhoods here in Grangeville that's just a block away from the city pool. This home, even though it was built in the 1940s, was updated not too long ago in the 2017s. It's got great curb appeal, great neighborhood, mature trees. Come on in and take a look around at this adorable craftsman style house. The house here through the front entrance you're going to come in to the left which is the dining room as you can see it is light and bright with those big windows that are south facing and you have hardwood floors which are very unique to this house there's quite a few hardwood floors through this house that have been nicely updated and then you're going to walk into your kitchen here as you can see it's part of the house that was also updated in the remodeled. You've got the beautiful hickory cabinets that were custom built for this house space. As you can see, one of the special features is this very long drawers in these uh, corner cabinets that you can tell were definitely made for this house. You've got one on each side for here. As you can see, they go way out for lots of great storage. The appliances are newer and are lightly used. As you can tell, they're in great shape. As you move through the kitchen, of course, you've got your refrigerator that comes with this and a pantry for all of your grocery needs and any extra storage. This house has a ton of storage in it as we move through to the mud room where you could actually put a freezer in here, an extra refrigerator. There's a back door to the outside and also you have a half bath here for guests or just coming in from working out in the yard along with a closet for more storage for cleaning supplies if you'd like and linens coming around to this area you've got your laundry area for your washer and dryer with a sink and cabinets so you can tell that this space it's a little tight but it works just great for all of your laundry needs as you walk in from the front door area, here is our nice size um, living room. It's got the hardwood floors. It has a wood stove that does work and heats this house really nicely in the winter. And again, bright open windows to the south facing in the porch. There's a unique feature where you can have, it's got a skylight up here to get just a little more light in here in the winter months. Now, as we walk through here, I'm going to show you the two bedrooms that are on the main floor. To the right here is going to be what is the primary bedroom. It does not have an ensuite, but it is quite the ample size bedroom. You could put a queen size bed and a couple dressers. It's got a traditional closet that would be typical for this style of home. You have nice, big, bright windows, ceiling fan. The windows were replaced also in 2017, so they have a newer window um, design to them and more energy efficient than in the 1940s, obviously. Here's the main floor bathroom. It is a shower tub combo, has some great built-ins. And the tub is adequate for the downstairs area and then as you move through I'll show you this is the secondary bedroom that's in the back of the house it also has just a typical closet and a couple great rooms room space there for some lights and as you come out of there I'll show you the upstairs As you're coming up the stairs, right straight ahead is gonna be your first bedroom upstairs. It has some amazing built-in storage space with a desk, two closets that are underneath the roof eave, plus a third closet that is here behind this door that's a cedar closet. One of the fun features is right here to the right 
is actually a hidden bed. It's got a little platform that you pull out and you can put your mattress on it. And then when you don't want to use the bed and the mattress, you can push it back underneath the attic eave. Isn't that genius? As you come back through this hallway here, you'll see that it's got a little area here for the heater, but it could be a nice office or playroom for your kids or for your grandkids or guests that come over. Here's the uh, bathroom up here. It's just a stand-in shower. As you see the walk-in shower, it's got some great tile work that's been done here in this more modern updated bathroom area. And coming out of the bathroom, across the hallway is another very historic kind of feature for a house. It's a craft room. So you've got great built-ins, you've got desk space. There's also on hardwood floor that's been painted with drawers and knick-knack shelves. Just a great space. And your last little bedroom here, it was designed to have two single beds, one on each side with this dresser as a built-in, and then two closets for each of the beds. And these closets are a nice little size, as you can see. One last thing before we leave this pretty little property, I wanted to show you the backyard. This isn't the best time of year to be looking at properties, but we'll make it do. So imagine that this is a big green lush backyard in the summertime. It's got great landscaping, beautiful curb appeal. Through the back gate, that's the wraparound vinyl fence, as you can see, is the alley. So you have alley access to get back there, store some vehicles, there's a storage shed back here, the one car garage with the carport, and then of course what I'm standing under, the little gazebo with the deck that walks out from the back door. So if you have any interest in this property, go ahead and give me a call. Also, if you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like and of course subscribe to our channel so you can see more of these kind of videos of properties in the greater Greensville area. My name is Emily Music with United Country Steelhead Realty. Thank you for watching.